It is the... Uh... Right, we need to know what day it is. Okay, so let's bring ourselves up to speed here. It's now the 7th of March. We're going to be shooting in about four weeks' time. I think something like the 2nd to the... 11th, something of April. Um, let's bring us up to speed of how we're actually doing. Okay, <laughs> basically, we've got a little outline of a plot. We've got uh, the bombs not sorted out, the equipment not sorted out. They still need to negotiate on the land. Blah, 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 blah. And we've got four weeks to make a movie, which we want to make like a, a three grand movie look like a 30 grand movie. So I'm pooping it, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to give it a go and hopefully it's going to be all good. So we've come here today to sort out some shots, see what they look like, plan a little bit of action out. Like I say, we've got the rough script outline, so hopefully today we can cement that all, cement the action with the script, and then start rocking and rolling. So, <sighs> wish us luck and uh, see you in April. Okay, so I'd just like to say, if we put all these features together into one thing, I must say so about 50 billion times, but poop it. So, what we're going to do, this is the main entrance to the whole building. So this is where Ambrose will be coming in, getting metered and greeted by uh, Matt's number two, Dunks. Then obviously they'll see Matt and he'll go through, we'll take you through there in a minute and you can see all the rooms where the drugs are made, so on and so on. Okay boys, so here we are, April the 2nd, yeah? First shot of Reset to 9-2. Um, enjoy the ride. Five, four, three, two... One, action! Welcome Mr Fielding. Mirhoff will be ready for your meeting shortly. Good. We uh, weren't expecting you so soon. Welcome to the building here. Yeah, I know, this is my uh, setting up my sniper rifle. Yeah. So Dunks, uh, what's the score? <laughs> um, well, we've got... Hi. We've What's got... that up to? Is that his character? Is he getting into character? Yeah. <laughs> right, well, let me just show you a couple of the extras. Um, this is Rich. Hi. And this is Tony. This is Chris. And of course, no Matt. And this is Ben. And uh, we're just shooting the um, first... Scene. Yeah, the rain scene. <laughs> the wind scene. Oh, gee, I think he needs a mention as well. <laughs> Can't <laughs> this joke. And then we've got Dan up there. I was trying to call you, Dan, and you were there. How stupid of me. <laughs> but this is a shot I really, really want. I don't know when this is going to come into the film. But through that hole just there, it's as if there's a room that's been absolutely exploded to smithereens. So what I want to happen is we put a fire burst in here, two, two big, two big, like, uh, maybe like litre fire bombs and then what happens is we'll be out here we'll be coming in I don't know of maybe what time of the film we'll just be like turn to the camera like that comes right out then we then on the same shot the camera then follows us back in we're going in we're going in it's smoky camera goes past the smoke there's a big ass mofo in there we have a bit of a fight in there all rubble and everything next scene. So, <laughs> this is going to be the corridor where Matt's going to get shown around uh, with bad guys. We're going to clear all this stuff up, going to have to probably put into the budget a couple of grand for some uh, brushes, sweepers. Uh, I love the derelict look, the derelict look. Uh, you can derelict my balls. Yeah, and that's, that's badass because it's meant to be an abandoned warehouse anyway, that's where they do all this stuff. So when we come through here, we're going to have to clean all this up. Maybe an office in there where they're counting the cash, whatever. There's a kitchenette in there so there can just be a few guys playing poker in the corner, something like that. And then this is the badass room coming up here. This is where a lot of and crack off. The chemical lab. I've arrived and uh, we're in the chemical lab. Dave's almost died twice cleaning up all this stuff. 
Believe it or not, it was a lot worse than this. All the tables had acid and chemicals and froth. It was horrible, horrible, horrible. So what we want to do in here is, I always I wanted these to be like neon blue, but as you well know, uh, or as you will find out, we're, we've got no electricity here, so we're having to run the lights off a generator. So we can't have these. So what we're going to do is put some neon blue gels onto our lighting system and fill this room like that. So to do that. We don't need any light coming in, so we're gonna, gonna get these windows painted black. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, we've just painted the windows black. We've just put a little gel to see what it will look like. We'll get more lights in here um, for tomorrow. When we'll have six scientists cracking up, we'll have test tubes. Make it look really good. We've done the hallway, well done because David done the hallway. We've got the chill out room upstairs. We need to start out the torture room, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so, looking forward to it, a little bit tired, but I'm going to be on it as of, well, I'm on it as of now. So, see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully the portal is still here. And then, um, pure carnage. Carnage for a week. So I hope you enjoy the special features. But for now, it's peace out. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Ha <laughs>